that blue one needs a lick of paint, doesn't it? Look at all these telescopes. Oh my gosh, Apple turnover. Well, hello guys, welcome to a very, very nice Saturday morning in London. I can't quite believe it. I got up quickly, got ready. Well, quickly, it's actually 10 a.m. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit behind today, but we are at the top of Portobello Road because I think it's a Tuesday when you're watching this or any day of the week. I've got 10 pounds in my pocket and I want to see what we can maybe get for 10 quid down on the world famous Portobello Road Market. Like I said, I probably should have come down a bit earlier, but I was tired, but let's go shopping. And it is now good weather to use the higher bikes. It is very touristy, but I would say most locals, most of my friends will happily come down here. But I think everyone was hung over this morning. Now, if you are new to my channel, as I walk down this beautiful street, I'm Hannah, I live in London, and I like to show you touristy things, stuff that I get up to, restaurants, and yes, I've been trying to go to more galleries and museums and things like that. Went to the Lego Museum a few weeks ago. But anyway, subscribe if that's your cup of tea. Portobello Road was probably one of the first videos that I ever made of London, actually, to be honest with you. Look how gorgeous all these houses are. George Orwell lived there. I like all the blue plaques. I'll try and point some out if I see any more, but I often forget. Let's follow the crowd. Look how cute these little cars are. Let me know, do you have one of these? as much as these houses are stunning. I think it's almost a bit too busy along here. Oh, look at that one. Oh, dad, off-road parking. <laughs> that is the dream. I've asked this question before. What color would you paint your house? I think that purple. I do like a pastel blue. Farm Girl is a very popular place for brunch. Definitely a good place, but we will see food as we go down into the market. This little place is always quite busy. Lots of nice tourist knickknacks. Right, let's have a look. So yes, a £10 Tuesday is today. My view is that when you go places, whether it's a fancy shop or a market like this, that you should be able to get something for £10 and I'm not going to do food this time. And I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit unsure whether we're going to find anything for £10. It's not the cheapest market. It is 10am, it opens at 9, but the last time I came here at 9, a lot of it wasn't ready. So I did come back, come down even a little bit later than planned. So we do have obviously lots of stalls with lots of knickknacks. And I do appreciate that some things I've got prices on, 25 to 150, 55 pounds. Ooh. <laughs> Even some guns, 380 pounds, 650. Oh, we have got some old, oh gosh, I don't know what kind of knives these are or things they are all 10 pounds. I'm not just gonna buy the first thing that we see. I also want something, there's a couple of things on my list that I'd quite like to get, but there's a lot of paintings, a lot of um, personal artwork as well, which understandably you cannot film. Yeah, lots of antiques. I love the shop fronts, guys. And I feel like I can show you stuff that's a little bit out of price point. When I say little, a lot. But yeah, 55. Gosh, these are a lot. 250 for these maps. I find this type of thing a little bit creepy. Oh, it's giving haunted vibes, but 75 to 200 pounds. There's already a lot of mink. 300, 500 pound, definitely not my thing. They got some old coins, three for four pound. How does that work? <laughs> Surely they're of a value. And there's already quite a lot of jewelry. Those rings for five pounds or a shell ring. This is not for me, but those are 10 pounds each. Oh, look, the sun is shining. I'd like to try and find a, a compact mirror. That's probably a bit ambitious. Look at those turtle hooks for 12 pounds. They're cute. I really like this, but that's definitely not going to be within the price point. Oh, these are a little bit out of my budget. £30. I love these stamps. These remind me of uni. Oh my gosh. It looks like they start at £12 plus the, I guess the rolled ink, is that what it's called? But look at that one, that's so cool. Yeah, that would be £17. We're on a budget, guys. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, I can't believe how busy it is. You can tell this is the first day that it's actually been nice out. It is crazy. Oh, wow, look at these. But yeah, I'd say from my experience, usually this place doesn't get too crazy until about half 11. So how much is a map? There's a lot of maps. I think we'll see quite a lot of this type of thing. Yeah, like old adverts. 
and cool posters and maps. <laughs> There's a lot of car stuff. Oof. Yeah, they're all a little bit too much. We've got some fashion ones. 40. Oh gosh, these are definitely London prices. <laughs> London tourist prices. I used to always want to live in one of these muse houses, but I don't think I could. Imagine having this on your doorstep every single weekend. What have we got over here? Jugs, 16 pounds, 12 pounds. Good old Paddington. If you have watched the Paddington movie, you will recognize Alice's. I love these wooden little like trophy, I don't know what you call them, containers, but yeah. 25 pounds to 30 odd pounds. Yeah, does anyone recognize this from the Paddington movie? I'm not going to attempt to go and film in there. I filmed it before. The sun is shining. This makes me so happy. I don't need a magnifying glass, but they are 10 pounds. I do like this stall. I think they've got some really cool things. I've just noticed. Look at these walking sticks or canes. They're 18 pounds, which I don't know, based on what other things that we've seen. Look at this. I feel like I don't need one, but that seems like quite good value. There are a few things. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, I don't want to just buy something yet, but look at this. Oh, for five pounds, that's so sweet. Yeah, they got a few things. <laughs> There's always some royal stuff knocking around. There are a number of fashion stores, but I just noticed. 17 pounds for an umbrella. That is criminal. Okay, what have we got down here? Judy Fox Antiques. This looks amazing, but definitely not within our pricing. Oh, look at that. Look at this. I can't even get near quite a lot of the stalls. And just on Denby Street, I can't not show you these beautiful, I always call them ice cream houses. They are stunning. But yes, if you are coming, don't, don't walk up to people's front doors. A lot of people have got chains now because they're sick of people being a little bit too intrusive. Oh, that blue one needs a lick of paint, doesn't it? Oh, that tree is a cherry blossom, right? That's gorgeous. And that one with all the smashed up, <laughs> I guess, facade is called Gold. It's a really lovely restaurant, actually. Great for grabbing a drink. Right, let's scoot to the next section. We've got quite a few like kind of touristy ones where you can get like canvas bags and things like that. I do think the jewelry along here is a bit of a piss take. I think it's a bit rubbish. Like it just seems to be kind of tat that you'd buy online in bulk, which I know some people be like, oh, what do you expect? But a few years ago, it wasn't like that. They're definitely not, it's not antique jewelry at all. Um, I wanted to see if they have any watches. Was that someone blowing their nose? <laughs> sort of a trumpet. <laughs> There's a lot of silverware as well. Those trays are beautiful. They're about 50 pounds plus and sets of cutlery, 25 pounds per six pieces. Goodness me. Is this the price that you'd expect it to be? I think I'm not sure. Oh, I can buy a couple of spoons. They're three pounds each. Okay, I found the watch stall. Bit of a mix. Mm. Gosh, I feel like my mum had one like this. I feel like someone, was it my sister or did my mum literally had that DKNY one? So yeah, you've got a mix of like 90s, 2000s stuff. Not sure how antique -y some of this is. 50, 60 quid for a watch like that. No thanks, mate, I'll use my phone. Oh, this is the kind of thing I'm looking for. North American prints, 30 pounds each. Antique prints, five pounds each. I've got anything cute. I don't know what I would do with them, although I do love this type of thing. You know, like it's just nice to have, but yeah, there are some things. It's just a bit of a bum fight, let's be honest. Lots of maps, 200, 300 pounds. Quite a lot of these stalls also have got sales, so see 12 pounds, lots of half price things. If you're into butterflies, I kind of want something a bit cartoony, but yeah. Oh, he's cute for 12 quid. Gosh, why am I making this video? Please give this video a thumbs up because it is wild. A lot more wild than I thought it's going to be. Also, I would say probably about 40% of the people here are French. So I don't know if it's like a French, I don't know, school holidays or something. Yeah, you need to be strong willed and push people back. <laughs> it is open every day, but the main market day is a Saturday. Got all these knickknacks. I don't need anything. This is the thing. Oh, look at that jewelry box. That's gorgeous. I can't afford anything. Even a little rock is 12 quid. 
I like that. Right. Give me strength. Let's do this. I think these are cigarette cards, right? I think these are £25. <laughs> Bit of fun. I can't quite believe how rude that woman was at the stall. God, it goes both ways, doesn't it? Right, more silver knickknacks. Oh my god. Yeah, Sorry, excuse me. Oh my god. Those bags were 200 to 400 pounds. Oof. Oh, I think I remember this stall. Look at all the old cameras. I think it would be fun, I don't know, like on birthday cards on the envelope to have like a stamp that when someone gets something through, they'll be like, oh, it's from Hannah. I actually really want to get like a 90s or like early 2000s camera to take photos on holiday, but I think I might go on eBay to be honest with you. But yeah, these are all quite a bit cheaper than the one at the top of the hill. What were they? They were 12 quid, weren't they? Look at this little one. It's like the white rabbit in a way with this little heart. I love anything kind of Alice. I think that's Alice related. Look at that one, that's cool. I'm going to spend six of my £10 budget today. Thank you very much, have a good day. Oh, I actually really want to get like the H and stuff. There's lots, I think they're quite cute and the guy is so sweet. Oh, I'm well chuffed with that, that's so cute. Okay, yeah, I will go on Amazon. I think I might have some stamping at home somewhere, but it might be dried up. Right, what else do we have? Oh, Dad, I feel like Jack had a load of that in the cupboard, didn't he? Yeah, I do think the watches are a bit naff down here. Right, I've got four quid left. It's not going to get me far, but let's have a look. Oh, my gosh. It's like Glastonbury down here. Yeah, if you're in the market for, like, a botanical print or something, this is the place to be. Yeah, like, look at all this jewellery tat. It's not antique, it's just tat. Blimey, look at these old cameras. 80 quid. they got packs of old stamps by theme. got some nice little earrings here and they're only five pounds it's definitely more money up the top of the hill i quite like those those are quite cute some older truck toys for five quid and i've seen quite a lot of like brambly hedge oh my gosh that's adorable look at the little teacups there's a lot of old leather balls as well an old razor for 39 pounds i can't help but look at this stall winnie the pooh Oh, that's so cute. £10, that's not too bad. They do have stuff that's a bit cheaper, £10, £5, yeah, Paddington, poo. That's so funny, the lady in there, she seems really nice. She's literally on TikTok Live chatting to people. <laughs> like the person who's running the stall. Gosh, I mean, I'm vlogging, but that's the next level. I feel like I'm queuing to view this stall. I don't think I'm going to find anything for four quid, but they've got some stuff that I think is quite cool. Look at all these telescopes. Oh my gosh, and compasses. I really want something like this for a compact mirror, but I don't think it's going to happen. These are like 25, 30, 35 pounds. See, there's just so much jewellery, and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not sure about it. Some silly cushion covers, not sure how much these are. They're quite cool. Some of it I do find a little bit creepy. Okay, even more bits and bobs. You just got to embrace the crowds, guys. Stick together. Be careful of pickpockets, okay? Pickpockets, definitely. Oh, it's pretty cheaper here. Let's have a look. But yeah, D make sure your phone and stuff doesn't get nicked. It's quite sweet. God, I feel bad only giving him three quid. The guy was so sweet. But yeah, he said you can get ink anywhere. So I'm quite pleased with that. I've got my little H and my little, uh, like, rabbit little white rabbit with the hearts on it but one pound left i haven't shown you much of the touristy things but yeah you've got little like london things like tote bags and uh such a little bit more fashion down here kind of 20 to 50 quid for things and then i guess it's kind of pub o'clock now it's getting towards lunchtime but i think it's only about 11 a.m actually there was a store and it said no filming but it was selling mulled wine at 10 o'clock this morning Ooh, it's burly and as we cross by elgin crescent i feel like everything's called elgin around here you do have some of the food bits i'll only show you a little bit falafel wraps for six pounds it's kind of standard oh my gosh yeah you've got more like the local food stalls fruit and veg and i feel like there's a crazy bakery one up here that everyone always likes to go to oh i can't not show you there we go look at all those buns <gasps> triple chocolate ring for two pounds apple turnover oh wow look at all the goodness yum indeed see that seems way cheaper even than like aldi 150 for a thing of raspberries and blueberries oh i can buy some coriander with the rest of my money 
and then you have the savoury version. Oh my gosh, look at all of this. All this Easter special chocolate mini eggs. Look at all of that. Oh, look at that sausage roll for three pounds. Oh, and a whole thing of quiches. They've got a lot of vegan stuff as well. There's not too many flowers down here. They are a little bit steep, but what have we got? These little bunches for three pounds. Stop arguing in the comments. They've got both of them. I don't know how we feel about oysters, I'm not sure. But yeah, one pound each. Fortnum and Mason water, what happened here? They fall off the back of a van, 250. These don't look like they're real at all. Yeah, you can tell by the label. So do keep your eyes out. I th I'm gonna call this out and say, these aren't real, I don't think. That tag straight off, that's not real. Just taking a break for a second from the crowds. Look at this side road. I haven't done a very good job in showing you the kind of surrounding area, because it's just been manic. But what I am gonna do is plug a video that I did. When was that? It wasn't that long ago. Um, and I showed you the whole of the Notting Hill area and its history. And it took me ages to make, and it's a really good video. So go and watch that after. So if you're tempted to know a bit more about the area, have a look. Just crossing Westbourne Park Road, we have the famous blue door where everyone's getting their picture. Everyone's getting their pictures, everyone's like queuing up. Thacker's house in Notting Hill. I do have to laugh because the blue door, um, without telling you my schedule, I pass this bit quite often at about seven o'clock in the morning and it's very peaceful and I feel like I'm in a movie, but today I feel like I'm in a nightmare. No, it's not too bad, but anyway, I think it's time for me to head on to my next destination and enjoy the rest of my weekend. And there is way more food down there, but honestly, I wanted to not show you too much food in this video because I feel like I've been too, doing too many food videos recently. Uh, but yeah, do see that other video that I did. I think I did show all the way up um, under the bridge and, and so on. I do like the colorful houses along here. I think it would be absolutely crazy living here. Oh, look at those in the sun. Very nice with them in the background. I hope you enjoyed that. I think that was probably a bit of a manic video. It was very difficult to film, but I hope you enjoyed it for 20 minutes. I hope this video was a bit longer. I feel like my last couple of videos have been a bit slow. I'm not really sure why. But anyway, £10 Tuesday. I spent nine quid. I'm quite pleased with what I've got. I will see you probably on Friday. Friday? Yeah, because this will be a Tuesday video. Two videos a week, Tuesdays and Fridays at 6pm. Remember to say hi over on Instagram. Subscribe if you want to see more. And yeah, have a good one, guys. Bye!